Good morning and happy Thursday. I don't know about you, but if you have been trying to develop a new habit this last week, you may have found that it has been hard. And I've been trying to develop the habit of getting up early and I have discovered that significant change requires significant investment. And we're gonna talk about that today. So welcome, so glad to have you here. Good morning! For those of you who are new, my name is Crystal Payne and I am the founder of MoneySavingMom.com and it's so fun to see so many of you joining us today. Um, I have been working on developing the habit of getting up early and like seeing this black stuff on my eye, not sure what's going on there. Um, thank you so much for saying that you love my book. Yay, you can comment today. So glad to have you. So I've been working on redeveloping the habit of getting up early. I used to be um, such a, um, just kind of consistently always getting up at 5 a.m., even 4.30 a.m. I mean, in my teen years, I was so good at getting up early. And I feel like um, I've kind of had, you know, as a mom, there's um, some mornings where um, it's just hard. Somebody said you had a rough AM today. Um, and when I had little kids and babies up in the night, it was hard. And um, I did a pretty good job of um, getting up early consistently. But um, especially in the last, just honestly, with December and with Christmas and all of that, um, I fell off the bandwagon. And I fell off the bandwagon in a big way in the sense of I was staying up way too late and then getting up late and just not not living in my best version of myself because I know that I am a morning person and I do so much better when I get up in the morning. So bandwagons are overrated, Stacey. But anyway, so um, at the beginning of this year, my husband and I, we sat down and we're like, okay, what, what is kind of the one thing that we really want to focus on for this year? And that was developing a family morning routine. Not just one of us developing a morning routine, but a family morning routine. And so we so we did. We said, okay, we are going to make that a priority. And guess what? Um, it's day four. And we are really starting to see the benefits of this. Let me tell you, the first three days were hard. They were so, so, so hard. But we are starting to see the fruit. So last night was the first night that I really actually wanted to go to bed at a decent hour. And that was exciting for me. It was like nine o'clock and I am ready to get in bed. I didn't quite go to sleep at nine o'clock, but, um, I wanted to go to bed at nine o'clock. I didn't want to stay up until midnight. So yay, progress, right? And then um, this morning when I woke up, I didn't feel exhausted. I didn't feel like I had gotten run over by a train like I have the last three mornings. And I didn't have to literally work so hard to will myself out of bed. So that was very exciting. But the thing that we are um, really figuring out is that it is amazing the difference of just getting up early in the morning, how it's impacting our family. So um, this morning, uh, we've been waking up the kids every morning at 7 a.m. and that was early for them, uh, at least for one or two of them. And this morning, there was no crying. No crying, no crying at all. Like, that is a big deal. There was no crying in our house. And so, um, and the kids just got up and they're starting to just do what they're supposed to do. But here is the beautiful thing that we have discovered is that the last three days, even though I had to drag myself out of bed, even though I didn't want to get up, even though it was hard, I was amazed at how much that I have gotten done. And I also was amazed that by 9 a.m. every morning, 
I have knocked out most of my big rocks. So most of those really important things by 9 a.m. have gotten done. We've been getting up and getting our main homeschooling done really early. And so by 9 a.m., we have the main part of our homeschooling, like the big stuff that we kind of have to usually our morning time. Um, we've been getting that done. So by 9.30, I've already done reading with my six-year-old, which that sometimes is a little bit hard. And so yesterday morning, I was thinking, it's 9.30, and my house is pretty clean. We've had breakfast. I exercised. I've spent time in God's Word. I, you know, I was listing off all these things, and I was thinking, this is crazy. And it's just by making the habit of getting up early. Yay, you're doing the Makeup Your Morning class. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. So taking that time, getting up early, and, and devoting those early morning hours to those big rocks has made such a difference. What time am I getting up? I'm getting up at 5 a.m. That's the time that my alarm clock goes off, and that's what I'm really shooting for. Sometimes it takes me a little while to get out of bed, but that's the time my alarm clock is um, going off. So I just realized, you know what, like by 9 a.m. yesterday, I was like, even if I got up late yesterday, and even just in that, the two and a half hours, there was so much that I got done. And I thought, if I do nothing else the rest of this day, I have had a productive day. So I just want to encourage you, maybe you're not a morning person and maybe it's those evening hours that you really need to use, but being intentional with whatever habit it is that you want to develop this year and sticking with it, it will be worth it. It is hard. I titled this, yup, it's hard because developing a habit is hard. It doesn't come easy. It doesn't come naturally. Significant change requires significant investment. And the last three days, I tell you, every single morning when that alarm clock went off, I, was, I came up with a dozen excuses of why I should stay in bed. And then I thought, you know what? If I don't get up, if I don't make myself get up, I'm never gonna develop this habit. And so for three days in a row, I had to do the very hard thing. And it wasn't like this morning, I was like, yes, I'm gonna get up, you know, but it, was, it wasn't like, oh my goodness, do I have to get out of bed? Um, and so it was, it was progress. Um, and so most people aren't willing to stick with the hard. And I know in the past when I've been trying to develop a habit, I haven't been willing to stick with it because those that first week is grueling and it is hard. But if you stick with it, you are going to reap the fruit. Habits and change don't happen instantaneously. Yes, I hate the world. Yes. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's like so many people, they're like, this is hard. I can't do this. And so I'm just going to quit. And you quit before it gets good. You quit before you reap the benefits. And so I am sharing with you this to just challenge you. Don't give up. Whatever those habits are that you want to develop, whatever that is that you say in 2016, I'm going to work on this and I'm going to make this a habit. And I'm going to stick with this. Don't give up. Someone said day four is the hardest. If you are in that day where you're thinking, I I just I quit. This is too hard. This is too much. I can't do this. Don't give up. It requires sacrifice. It requires perseverance. And it is hard. But it is oh so worth it. And I've seen that even the last three days and I've been so tired. We have a little visitor coming. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Oh, she said her three-year-old is giving me a million hearts. Um, <laughs> thank you to your three-year-old. What's your three-year-old's name? Um, they're saying, hi, Silas. Hey. So whatever it is that you really want to work on developing this year, don't give up. The beginning is always the hardest. Now, uh, uh, you know, maybe the first day you're like, yes, I'm going to do this. And then day two and day three and maybe day four and day five, it gets really hard. But don't give up. Do I plan to get up early on the weekends? Um, oh, you're asking Melissa. Never mind. Okay, I won't answer that. Actually, I will answer that. I am thinking that I'm going to get up earlier on the weekends, but not 5 a.m. I'm thinking maybe 6 or 7. We'll see. But maybe I'll develop this habit, and then I will just start getting up at 5 a.m. We will see. Um, but anyway... Significant change requires significant investment, and I just want to challenge you with that today. 
that it's so worth it. So even though the last three days it's been, I've been tired, I've still been like, I, I have so much more margin in my life. I'm getting so much more done. And I just have more time to invest in the things that matter. She said, hi, Silas. So I just wanted to encourage you with that and encourage you to keep going and don't give up. So um, if you need some encouragement to get your mornings in better shape, you can check out makeoveryourmornings.com. It's my 14-day online course to help you live with more intention and start your day well. And you, if you scroll down um, all the way on the bottom um, of the page at makeoveryourmornings.com, you can sign up for day one for free to see if it's a good fit for you. I am um, going to maybe do a scope this afternoon. I have um, a hair appointment, and um, as you can tell, I have a lot of hairs that need to be done. Um, it's all growing out, but I have a hair appointment this afternoon, and then I'm not sure what time I'll get back, but I, I might do a money-making mom scope. I might not. We'll see. Are you checking my hair out? <laughs> um, and um, we will, I, I'm not sure. I have so much that I want to share, and I've been having so much fun with the Money Making Mom scopes, but we'll see. So, yeah, hair appointment equals therapy. I woke up this morning, I was like, I get to sit in a chair all by myself with no interruptions and a book. It's bliss. So, anyway. Nope, I'm going to be by. Oh, you're going to come with me? No, you are not going to come with me. You are not going to come with me. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'm going to hop off and hop back on to share with you about the 5 a.m. miracle that's been inspiring me to do this. Um, so, have a great morning, and I will talk to you later. Bye.